Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, I'm going to show you another change in Eclipse 11, and that is starting in Eclipse 11, custom splash images now use PNG files. They previously used JPG files, and so this is a bit of a change. Let me show you. Right now, I'm at my desktop background and I'm going to open up Eclipse. Currently, I have the default background, which is just the diamond. However, as always, you are able to change this, but in Eclipse 11, it is a little bit different. Eclipse 11 now looks for a PNG file instead of a JPG file. And so on my desktop, I have an image that I'd like to use as my Eclipse background. It's the same as my desktop background. However, this file, if you look, has the file extension of JPG instead of PNG. So what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to choose open with, and I'm going to just choose paint. This image is now open on my screen in paint. And if I scroll, you see that this is a very big image. And so what I can do is go to file, save as, and instead I'm going to choose a PNG copy. So I'll choose PNG picture, and I'm going to choose to save this to my desktop. So I'll hit save, and then I'm going to close this document. So now I have the original Eclipse11.jpg and the identical but different file type Eclipse11.png. Next, I'm going to open up Windows File Explorer. Next, I'll open Windows File Explorer. And I'm going to go to the install location of Eclipse, which is C Drive, Program Files x86, Advantage Software, Eclipse. And within this folder, there are several files called Splash. And in here is a file called splash11.png. If I open this up, that's the diamond. And so this is the file that I want to replace with my modified image. So I'm going to select this file and I'm going to rename it to preserve it. So I'm just going to add a designator to that file that tells Eclipse not to use that file anymore, but I don't want to delete it. Next, I'm going to take my Eclipse11.png file and I'll copy it and I'll paste it into my Eclipse folder and provide permission. And now I'm going to rename this file to Splash 11. And I'll press Enter and it'll ask me if I'm sure again. And now I'll open Eclipse, but let's see what happens. So it did change my background. However, since the image is so high resolution, it's only able to display a portion of it. So what do I have to do now? That means that I'm going to need to resize my image. So what I'm going to do is get rid of my splash 11 that didn't quite work correctly. And from the copy that's on my desktop, I'm going to reopen the Eclipse 11 PNG in Paint. Once I'm inside of Paint, there's a handy resize tool. There are a couple different ways that you could approach this. You could incrementally move the file down until it's a good size for you, or you can just kind of cut it down to a size that you know will fit. If you're going to do that, the default size is 800 pixels by 600 pixels. And so as I set the horizontal pixel size to 800 pixels, and as long as you have maintain aspect ratio checked, when you adjust one of these options, it will also auto adjust the other. And so something that's around 800 by 600 pixels is always going to fit. However, you might be able to fit something bigger. I'll press OK, and I'll save this image. Next, I'll take the smaller Eclipse 11 PNG, and I'm going to put that into my Eclipse folder. I'm going to rename it to Splash 11. And now let's see how it looks. So here you see it's in the center of my screen and it's not taking up too much space. However, it's still not as big as it could be on this particular screen. And so in order to get the image the exact size that you want, it may take some experimentation with the size that works best for you. However, like I said, any image that is eight, however, like I said, any image that is roughly 800 pixels by 600 pixels will be about the same size as the default Eclipse diamond. And that's a great starting point to use. And again, you can use any image that you'd like it simply needs to be saved as a PNG instead of a JPG. 
And to do that, all I did was I opened my JPG with paint. And at the top, I can go to file, save as, and PNG picture is one of the options. So it doesn't matter what kind of image you have, you can always just use paint to save it in the correct format. However, if you have more advanced software like Photoshop or GIMP, you can also use those. Just keep in mind that once you have the file the right size in the right format, you're going to have to put it under C drive, Program Files x86, Advantage Software, and then Eclipse. And don't forget that for Eclipse 11, the splash image should be called splash11.png. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question, anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.